2016 Miss International goes to Philippines. Miss International 2013 is Philippines. Hello po, it's me Bea Santiago, Miss International 2013 and we are here at the Kagandahang Flores Studio kung saan nagsimula ang aking pangarap. Katulad po nila, I spent sleepless night practicing my walks and Please come, introduce ko lang po ang aking mentor, Tito Roger Flores, the man himself of KF. Hi, Bea. I'm so happy to see you Me after too. almost five years. years. And yes. part ng excitement ko ay introduce ko sa iyo mm -hmm. ang some of our new recruits for Batch 2024. Wow, Everyone exciting! Let's start with Amanda. Thea. And Celine. Girls, napakaswerte natin because we have no less than 2013 Miss International Bea Rose Santiago na makasama niyo ngayon to further inspire you in your journey of becoming a beauty queen. Now, wow. Bea, share them. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom and your experiences and everything. Oh, um, listen. Train, 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 train. If it doesn't hurt, it's not working. Train, 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 train. We've been there. I've seen it all. I spent almost two years to make it. Bigay nyo lang ang everything nyo, no regrets. And then, if it doesn't work, then it was not for you. Accept it. But, if you give yourself a chance and truly believe in it, it's here. Kasi what they can do is physical. But what you have to do is here and here. Believe it from here to here, you will have the dreams come true. Tito Raj have made so many of us beauty queens. I used even my knowledge and my wisdom that I got from my, you know, my journey from being a trainee like you guys all the way to becoming a transplant patient, a successful transplant survivor. Nagamit ko yan because I instinct here and here. All the trainings, it really, really will develop you. And naging buong babae ako. Makinig kayo, humble yourself. Listen and train hard. Hard! You will achieve whatever you want in life. Wow! Hello! Pwede bang makisali? Yeah. Kaya alam ko lang ako sa hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Hello! Ikaw pala si Flores, mm -hmm. ang kagandahang Flores. And of course, today, eto na tayo, the journey to Queendom. At hindi lang Queendom, ang kwento ni Bea Santiago ay kakaiba. Kakaiba dahil hanggang sa dumating siya sa rurok ng tagumpay at hanggang tinamaan ng kakaibang sakit at kung paano pa rin niya ito napagtagumpayan. O hindi ba? Winner ka talaga. <laughs> Koronahan talaga kita ulit. Okay, only on Corina Interviews. Handa ka na ba? Handa na! Miss International 2013 is Miss Philippines! Congratulations, Miss Philippines! And Bea Santiago, Miss International! Is in the house! Wow! At nagbalik Pilipinas na si Bea. Wow naman, nakabalik ka na rin sa wakas after how many years? Almost five years. Almost five years. O ngayon, ito na ngayon ang kwento ng buong interview halos kung bakit nawala siya ng ilang taon mula sa Pilipinas. 
Iba rin yung kwento mo, girl. <laughs> Kaya sabi namin, hindi pwedeng hindi niya ikukwento dito sa Corina interviews. Pero eto, imagine today. Today, you are actually celebrating the 10th year as Miss International as in international, hindi lang pang Pilipinas. Palapakan ulit! Wow! Tenth year, sa so 2013 siya, kinoronahan as Miss International. And since then, wow, what a journey it has been, right? Super. <laughs> grabe, grabe ang pinagdaanan niya. Pero, bago yung mga pinagdaanan niya, itong mga nakaraang taon, Alamin mo na natin paano bang maging isang beauty queen at talagang beauty queen to the world. Bata ka pa lang daw, ikaw ay ginugroom na na maging beauty queen. Totoo yes, ba yun? frustrated beauty queen po kasi my mom. Pero ako kasi laking 90s supermodel. So gusto ko maging supermodel. Cindy Crawford, you know, Linda Evangelista, but mostly si... Um, of course, Kate Moss. Kate Moss? Yes. So, ito yung kapanahunan mo? Yes, opo. Ito okay. po talaga. Nagpalaki sa akin, mga ano Madonna. Ano ba ang height mo? 5'8 uh, po talaga. 5'8? Pero 5'9 daw. Oo, 5'9. Sabihin na natin 5'9. O <laughs> yes. tapos, so, ito ang kinalakihan mo, gusto mo maging supermodel. So, paano ka na, na tulak na maging beauty contessera? Beauty pageant beauty, contessera? Yes. Actually po, nanood yung mom ko ng uh, Miss Universe tent ni Venus Ra. And because she's, ano, galing din pong probinsya like me, and from Legazpi, and I'm from the same Bicol, um, nagkalakas loob, and then nagka-opportunity na makilala si Mama Rene, nabigyan ng blessing, sabi niya, umuwi ka ng Pilipinas, mananalo ka. And I did. And the rest was history. <laughs> wow! So, you just tried once? Yes. Nako, swerte Bini -bini. ka. <laughs> swerte ka, yung mga iba tatlong beses bago yes. manalo. So, hindi ka na talagang parang naghirap na konti sa barangay, tapos konti sa syudad. Wala na Wala. talagang Opo. ano na. Sana, sana. Kung Fili alam ko lang, may recipe. <laughs> right, national talaga. So, meaning, teka muna. So, sa lahat ng uh, frustrated konti sero o nangangara pa lamang, ano, walang formula para manalo. Kasi ano, po, ano yung um, formula na yun? One year din po ako nag-train. Siyempre, for Binibini, kailangan yung look nila was pang Miss Universe then. So talagang naghanap ako ng kamukha ko, kapeg ko, kaugali ko, ka-personality, which was Amelia Vega. So ginaya ko yung peg niya. Pero on the spot, ako na yon. May ano lang kunwari ako sa parang in-invive ka lang. Yun, ganun lang. Parang ano, alam mo sa lahat ng mga nakakausap ko, na interview ko ng mga nananalo, talaga meron silang psyching, no? Oh, meron po. Kailangan sinasight mo yung sarili mo na ako ito, panalo yes. ako. At saka po, one year po akong nag-training under KF. Dugo, sakit, iyak. Correct. Sampal, dami pong nangyari. No way! Sinasampal ka? <laughs> ako po nagsampal. Eh, sinasampal mo yung sarili mo? Ako po, po, po ng ilang-ilang-ilang miles yon sa gym. Ganun po kadami. Okay, so we're here now in a gym yes. because this is where you trained. Yes, this is the home of KF. Right. So, ang ginawa niyo, ano pang ginawa niyo dito? Workout? Yes, duck walk, um, okay. training. Lahat po ng training, uh, where it be, you know, mental, physical. Also, yung, ano po, yung woman empowerment. Yun right. po importante, confidence. Tinuturo din ng kagandahang flores ang yes. woman empowerment. Yes. Ah, oh, wow. Yes. Sa, kailangan seryosohin mo, no? Super. Pero palagay ko, Bea, meron talagang mga um, contestants na or aspirants na seryoso at hindi masyadong seryoso, right? Mm -hmm. Ikaw seryoso ka? Seryoso po. Pura, um, horse po ako nun. Ganun. Ah. I have to win walang plan B. Oh, wow. Because I don't wanna go home empty-handed. Iniwan ko right. po yung buong buhay ko dun eh. You know, most of the winners that I know, not only in pageants, ganyan ang mindset. Failure is not an option. Yes, it was 100% all or nothing. Correct. And during those days, super healthy. Yes. Super healthy super. ka. Okay, pero bago ang kanyang uh, history as a Philippine representative and successful beauty um, queen, ito muna yung kanyang pinanggalingan. Sa so, mas bate, doon ka pinanganak, mas bate? Um, dumaki po. Doon ako ano nag-aaral, pinalaki ng lola at lola ko. So itong picture na ito, na two years old ka, saan ito mas bate? Mas bate. Asa mas bate? I love mas bate. Oh, thank you. 
I love, I love it. Even to the lalo today. Yes. So iba? Yes. Talagang food destination, mm-hmm. mga resort. Agriculture. Dami po na meron kaming ranch. If you want to have an experience na parang nasa ranch ka or nasa ibang bansa, meron kaming mountains or gusto mong sumisid sa mga gandang uh, virgin Dive islands. Sites. Yes. Meron po kaming snake island which is puro lang talaga siya snake cave. Wow. Yes. So, um, itong Masbate, nandun pa rin ang mga uh, pamilya, pamilya mo. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. So, you go home to Masbate regularly? Yes, opo. Very ano? close. Very close, yes. okay. Nako, you should promote Masbate. Super. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. So, um, ano naman ang fondest memories mo of Masbate nung bata ka? Kasi po, I grew up without any mall. Wala po kaming movie theater or anything. Puro lang po fresh harvest lahat. So, pag may mga konting celebration, dagat-agat. Or pag gutong, pagbuta kami sa farm namin, bibili, kukuha lang ng kung ano-ano. Tapos hindi talaga kami maluho doon ng meron ngayon. Well, I grew up kasi na walang cellphone pa. So, we really have to um, make time and play outside. And yung very old school traditional. And laking lola at lolo pa ako sa conservative. Ah, ganun? Yes, very old school. Talaga? O, paano ka naman naging very liberated woman? Hindi naman sa ganun. Oh, Kasi hindi, lumipat oh. kami Canada after. So, half ng buhay ko, Canada, half is traditional oh, Pinoy probinsya. Yes, I'm half probinsya na, half city girl. Talaga? Oh. Pero ano ka, no? Parang, you strike me as someone na street smart. Oh Parang, you know, your, <laughs> you, you know your way around. I mean, may madiskarte kang tao. Thank you. Thank you po. Determinado, hindi ba? Uh, marami ka ring mga karanasan oh, yes. that I, you had to survive. Yes, yes. Isa na dito yung parang pagtatangka sa iyo bilang babae. Mm, yes. Oo, hindi ba? So oh. anong ano naman ang uh, pag-process mo sa karanasan na yon? Um, kasi po batang bata pa ako noon. Um, I'm very grateful lang talaga ako na may isip na ako even at a young age at 3 to 4 years old. Marunong na ako ng mali. 3, three yes. to 4. I was conscious na marunong na ako sa tama and mali. So nung muntik na akong pagtangkaan, alam ko nagsumigaw na po agad ako. Hindi siya talaga naging successful kasi sumigaw ako at thankful po ako na may dumating at may nag-rescue talaga sa akin. Oh wow. Ako. Pero yung trauma po kasi Miss Karina was not about that kasi hindi naman yun talaga nagtanim sa akin ng trauma. It was na palagi siyang na-reassign. And lumaki akong nakikita ko siya. Pero once I owned it and faced my fear, and nakakatingin na ako sa kanya ng hindi yumuyo ko, hindi takot, takot na siya. Siya, siya na yung takot. Natakot. Yes. Kasi alam na niya na binabawi ko na yung power ko. So, well, kaya ko na magsalita. How did you do that? I don't know. Ako lang po, yeah. Kasi pag probinsya na ka, medyo tabu yan eh, na di yung pag-usapan. Tsaka, Hindi ko naman alam paano tanungin sa lola at lola ko kasi parang ikaw yung ashamed, di ba? So, I had to. Parang, I had to face it. I don't know how, but natulungan talaga ako. Puro lang ako isip ng isip sa sarili ko. So, wow. I had to. Yes. So, talagang ano, DNA mo na talaga yung Siguro po. survivor ka, yes. dear. At saka surrounded ako ng puro babae sa amin. Oh. First generation um, educated na, na probinsyana. My lola. First generation doctor sa pamilya, my lolo. Ang mga lola at lola ko, na kapatid ng lola ko, was teacher. So talagang strong-willed women. And so, I guess, nung nine years old ako, I faced my fear. Right. Yes. Tsaka ano ha, from being probinsyana to the world. Yes. Diba? Makikita mo talaga yung determinasyon uh, na you're not just a survivor, you're a winner. Wow, oh my appear God. tayo dyan. <laughs> Tama. I love that word. Woo, Not just winner. a survivor, but a winner. Mamaya malalaman niyo what I mean. So, okay. So, after that, wow, that experience, na pinagtangkaan ka, na trauma ka, hanggang sa siya na yung natatakot sa'yo, at age 16, ay iniwan mo na ang buhay mo sa Masbate. Yes. Nagtagal ka rin doon, ha? Oo, probinsya na until 16. Tapos naging city girl. Diba? Okay. Laking... Metro Manila na? No, diretso pong Toronto, Canada. Ah, wow! Wala. Next, di ko na-experience yung Manila or anything else. But diretso from zero to one thousand. 
Okay. Yes. Why zero to one thousand? How different was life for you sa Toronto? So brang different. I mean, I grew up without malls sa mas bate. To zero, biglang iba ibang lahe. I don't know how to speak English fluently. Ang alam ko lang was sa school na subject na you can't speak ano Tagalog. Tapat English lahat. So when I moved to a very prominent puro pute. Medyo shocking. Na-experience ko yung parang the mean girls na kumain sa mag-isa sa banyo. But that was not because na, na bully ako. But I was just so shy. I don't know how to ask to, you know, I want to sit here. Hindi po ako marunong. And then, syempre, sila lahat pareho, pareho ng school. They came from the same elementary. Ako pumasok ako in the middle of the year. Hindi, hindi ako marunong how to sing it myself in the middle of the cafeteria. So, so doon ka na lang sa banyo, mm, kumakain. Malinis naman. Malinis naman. <laughs> Kawawa naman ang mga, ang mga eksena. <laughs> Parang ang movie. Oh, oh, But it so, was all me. It was, it was nothing else naman. Right. So from 16 years old, to what age were you in Canada? Um, I left, I was 20, almost 23. Almost 23. Join. Yes. So okay, so by the time you were 23, nag-okay ka na ba? Ano, ang, ano naman ang naging evolution ng personality mo sa Canada? Ang um, naging model po kasi ako doon, in fairness. Ah, in fairness? <laughs> Inabot mo yes, na, na, um I got scouted sa mall. My, I was with my mom. Tapos, without me knowing, pinadala ng mom ko yung Friendster selfies ko. And then, nasign ako ng Ford Supermodel. Oh, di ba? No way. Ng Ford Model Bakit? Agency. Bakit? Siguro bata ka palang matangkad ka na. Ah, yes. At saka po, ang tawag sa akin nun is multicultural. Because I look Asian, but I can also blend in with other ethnicities. But full Filipino ka? Yes. Ah, okay. Pinay, pero ang tangkad. Tsaka Blessed. medyo may Caucasian features, no, yes. diba? Yung dad ko po may mga mix-mix, yung mom ko din may mga mix-mix. Pero I always say I'm full Filipino. I see. Okay, so parang okay din ang Canada. Parang doon ka rin nag-bloom. Nag-bloom, opa. Right? Nag-dalaga. Parang ka nabuo. Nag-dalaga. My dad's a politician in our town. Oh. And my mom is super happy actually. Sad siya na naiwanan ko na naman siya. May aso naman akong iniwan para may replacement. Right. But everything's good. Happy kami. So Totoo. thankful sa mga nangyari. So what do you remember most about your mom? Di ba maaalala mo yung gapang yeah. ng nanay mo sa Canada yes, na mag-isa oh. lang siya for oh, all three of you? Yes, ang pin, I think grabe po talaga yung paghanga ko sa mom ko because supervisor po siya ng BFAD sa, sa Masbate. Iniwan niya po yan para lang magkaroon kami ng hinabukasan, ng healthcare, ng magandang education sa Canada. At naging caregiver po yung mom ko. So she really, really had to parang transform her life from being a supervisor na hinahangaan ng mga tao, well respected ng buong island, to a caregiver basically caring for an elderly who's not even her parent, you know? Tapos, I think, yung pinakamasakit was um, her parents uh, namatay sila. Na hindi wala na, siya doon. Yun ang pinakamasakit sa kanya. Na, na, actually, we shared that na wala kami. Hmm. Hindi namin sila na-serve. Although we helped financially, we were there, we, you know, we push namin, ginapang namin. Pero yung service... Hindi kayo makauwi. Yes, the service. Right, right, so, right. Okay. So, eto na ngayon. Uh, by the time na nagmo-model ka na, ayon, na-survive mo na lahat ng na-survive mo from being probinsyana to the world, and then from being so, so shy, you became a model. Wow. Yeah. Pa, paano naman nangyari yung man-hater? <laughs> o, ito ngayon tanong namin, di ba? Paano from all of that survival... Okay, and victory. Man hater oh or not? Yes or no? Choose or consequence. Kailangan sagutin mo ang tanong ha? kasi pag hindi mo sinagot ang tanong, pwede naman na rumampa ka na lang sa kalsada oh suot ang dalawang gua- gown na magkapatong. I know, I know. Ano bang gown ang ipagpapatong natin? Isa na yan, itong nasa likod mo. Oh, Ayan. At pipili ka dito, pagpapatungin mo, tapos, tapos rarampa ka sa kalsada. And ito na, sasagutin ba niya ang ating choose or consequence? Ikaw ba'y naging man-hater or not? Yes or no? Kung ayaw niyang sagutin, magsuot ka ng dalawang gown, magkapatong, rumampa ka sa kalye. Okay. <laughs> ayaw niya. Okay, yung sasagutin niya. So, naging man-hater ka ba? I was, yes. 
Kasi po ang tagal ko nagka-boyfriend. I don't know, intimidating ba kasi matangkad or maarte po kasi talaga ako. So, matagal ako nagka-boyfriend. Parang ayoko ng boyfriend. <laughs> Until I was nine, papunta ng 20. Oh, wow. 20 years old ako nagkaroon ng first boyfriend. Oh, diba? Ang tanda ko na. Okay, pero hindi ka naman galit sa lalaki hindi. per se. Okay. Pero nainis oh. lang ako kasi tagal nila akong ligawan. <laughs> Ay, ganun. Ang tagal, yes. ang tagal daw ninyong manligaw. Eh kasi naman sa mas bati, ikaw na lang nagtotore doon oh na matangkad. Paano naman sila Mahirap. makakalapit? Oh, wala pong matangkad. Right, and in Canada naman, everybody was like white, I guess, and you were Asian, I don't know. So, but, oh, eto na. So, okay, totoo, naging man-hater siya, but of course, hindi na ngayon. Hindi na ngayon. I love men. <laughs> oh, she loves men. Okay. Teka muna, may boyfriend ka ba ngayon? Wala po. Ah, wala. Yeah. Okay. Pero it doesn't mean I'm dating. No, I'm not dating. I'm not. I'm happy, single, and very much um, active with my friends. And very much available. Oh my God, no! Yay! Okay, pero balik muna tayo. At age 17, she was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. Yeah. So, was it the same as the one that Chris Aquino no, has? actually, much worse po yun sa kanya. Mine is really, it's called IgA nephropathy and it targets lang the kidney. Oh, okay. So, para siyang hindi nag-filter yung kidney. Ano ang mga symptoms ng autoimmune disease na yan? Uh, wala pong masyadong symptoms until later na. Kaya yun po nangyari sa akin, although I was diagnosed early on. Hindi ko alam na I was already an end kidney failure na. Okay. Until... Yun nga po, I, I, have, I have to be sent na to ER. So, teka muna, ano yung symptoms? Parang nagbabago yung kulay mo, right? Yes. Uh, severe na po yan. Pag hindi ka talaga nag-dialysis, yung nangyari sa akin, suka lang ako ng suka, um, migraines, tapos may mga red dots. Yun lang po, it's very simple. And then, pag dating doon sa ano, nagpa-biopsy na after two weeks, and yun na. Ano na, um, my kidney was functioning 15% na lang, both. 15? 15. Pero nagwiwiwi ka pa din. A little bit. Yun lang po, ah. maliliit lang. And then, akala ko I was just, ano, parang um, kinakabahan, kaya maraming beses, isa ilang araw, pero maliliit, naihi. Yun na pala yun. That was one of the symptoms of kidney failure. Mm, I see. Wow. Yes. So, at 17, that must have been devastating. Yes. Nung sinabi sa'yo na meron kang ganung sakit, anong epekto sa'yo? Hindi ko po masyado na, 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 I guess na, ano na, that was severe, na it could lead to end kidney failure. Kasi bata pa ako, but ano po, weekly po yung pag-check sa dugo ko. Tapos biglang sabi ng doktor, okay ka na, uh, you just have to live a healthy life, mindful, and kailangan, ano lang, uh, matulog, kumain ng maayos, malinis na tubig. I didn't expect na 10 years after mag-fail yung kidney ko. Wow. Yes. Okay, so this was the beginning na pala. Yes. Okay. So, um, ano yung sinabi mo sa sarili mo para maharap mo yung ganong klaseng hamon? Na meron kang, wow, so young, so beautiful, uh, talagang uh, model, and then suddenly meron kang ganong klaseng sakit. Yes. Ah, uh, hindi ko po masyado. It's so weird po kasi a month before, nag-ask po talaga ako ng purpose. Sabi ko, gusto, ano, gusto ko mas deaf. Gusto ko ng meaning. Biglang magka-kidney failure one, af one month after, tapos I have to fly na to Canada. And siguro po marami po if talagang I had to face all of the fears by myself and yung pamilya ko po, yun sila nag-guide. Grabe. As in, hindi ko nga po, in until now, hindi ko mag maisip kung gaano ka-heavy yun sa kanila. Kasi ako parang, I was just living. I was just trying to survive. It was part of binigay sa akin. Okay, let's deal with it. Pero hindi ko inexpect na gravity mm. until after. Nung mga nakausap ko ng mga tao and then they ask me, hindi ko naman po inexpect na it's going to be inspiring na um, kasi many times po kumunti ka ng mamatay. Not just from kidney failure. That's another pwede akong hindi na nagising. I also had air embolism where the air went into my heart and Marami pa pong, marami talagang chances. While you were in the hospital? While I was sleeping. Oh, wow. Because I'm doing my own, ano, um, 
hem uh, hemodialysis. Oh. So, pumasok po yung hangin sa heart ko. But mabilis po talaga ang sekundi. Pa talaga time. Binigyan na naman ako ng chance. And I'm just so blessed na nandito pa rin. In fairness. Wow. <laughs> but life must go on, right? Yes. Kasi eto na, nagbubukas na yung mundo sa'yo, right? I mean, from Masbate to Canada. And eto na, yung journey mo to become an international flag-bearing beauty queen, wow, yes. right? So you were in Canada. Mm -hmm. Paano ka naging uh, binibini Pilipinas International? Uh, ano po talaga, lakas loob, delusional. <laughs> Confident, overconfident, and yun nga po na bless. Nabigyan po ako ng inspiring words of wisdom ni Mama Rene. Sabi niya, oh, ineng. Pwede kang maging beauty queen sa Tata. Ah, so ba? si Mama Rene. Yes. Okay. So, po, siya kasi direct Raymond. So, nakita nila ako and they said, you have the looks, why don't you try? And I was a very naive, 22 years old. Pumunta ako doon, nakilala ko si KF, si Tito Rogel. One year nag-training and then pumasok sa Binibini. Puro lang confidence po talaga. Confidence. Talaga. And delusional. What's the most difficult part ng ano, training sa Kagandahang Flores? The most difficult was, basically, I had to face my fears. Hindi po ako balik. Wala, di ako, you know, bonggay, just dite, at saka sa likod. So I have to maneuver how to have hips, how to look my best shape. At saka, ano, I may fake, ganun? Yes, fake it until you make it. Okay. Ganun lang po talaga. And ano, uh, training. I was just, every day, nagagalit na nga sila kaya, ano ba, magpahinga ka naman? So, no, I have to perfect my walk, perfect my, kasi hindi po natuturo yung confidence. So, for me, if I ace the, ano, the exercises, if I ace all of the um, practice, then I'm sure I'm well equipped, then I can win. Ganun po. Doon ko na-psych yung sarili ko. So yung hirap mo, self-inflicted. Yes. Talagang you re required it of yes. yourself. Yes. Opo. Ah, ganun pala yun. So gano'n katagal naman, gano'n katagal naman ng gano'ng klaseng training bago sumabok sa Binibin Pilipinas? One year. One year. Oh, one training. year. And then another one year for Miss International. Oh, half a year Miss International. Wow, 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 wow. Grabe ang training! Fake it till you make it. Mga bali-bali. Eh, bakit hindi nala kasi padagdagan ang dibdib at padagdagan <laughs> ang, ang puwet, ang, ang, ano, ang puwet at saka ang inyong balakan. So, ito ngayon ang choose or consequence. So, dahan-dahan sa sagot kasi marami na ngayon ang nagpaparetoke. Choose or consequence to retoke or not to retoke and why? Kasi kung hindi mo sasagutin ang tanong, ito ngayon ang iyong consequence. Kailangan mong sipsipin ang kalamansi na ito nang hindi ka mumingiwi at ganyan ka pa rin kaganda. Ayan! Sumipsip ng kalamansi nang hindi ngumingiwi at ganyan pa rin siya kaganda o sagutin na lang ang tanong. Choose or consequence to retoke or not to retoke kung ikaw ay kontesera. Ayan. Sasagutin mo? I'd, sasagutin ko. I'd love to do the challenge. It's so, ano. Pwede pa rin natin <laughs> gawin yun sa epilogue. <laughs> Pero I will oh, say, oh. retoke. Whatever it is na gusto ng babae to feel great, why not? Um, I just had to fake my way because I want, that's my choice. That was my choice. Okay. And I was given that chance. I just didn't take it. Galing! Pero, so you have nothing against retoke? No, nothing against retoke. Ay, naku, talagang feminist pero, ka. Pero sana, lumak oh, siya. Diba? <laughs> that would Pwede have been pa. nice. Why not? Tal so, ang, para sa'yo, kung ano man ang piliin ng babae, dapat respetuhin. Yes. At saka kung ano po yung feel niya talaga. Right. Mananalo kasi yan kahit ano kung confident siya sa sarili niya. So, dream talaga ng mother mo mm -hmm. na ikaw ay uh, maging beauty queen. Pero nalagpasan mo na yung autoimmune problem mo. Yes. By this time. By this time, yes. What was the cure? Um, ano lang po, stress-free, matulog ng maayos, mag huwag mag-overeat, no sugar, no salty food, as in clean lifestyle. Everything. That's difficult. Yes, it was difficult. Pero mabilis pa akong pumayat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes. At saka clear mind. And so, yeah. Napushing Alam mo, disiplinado ko. ka rin, ano? Medyo. Para Medyo. talagang sundan mo lahat yon, And you got well. Yes. So, eto na. Paano nangyari na napasok ka sa Binibini ng Pilipinas? Si KF. KF po nag-train sa akin. Okay. Sabi niya, Tito okay. Roger Flores, sinin niya akong ganito. Sabi niya. So, siya nang nag-field sa'yo. Yes. 
Kasi yeah. syempre matagal na siya sa industry. Alam na niya ako anong look ng Miss Universe o Miss International. So tumingin niya sa akin sa Miss International. Kasi sabi ko, no! Universe ako! Gusto oh. ko, nagpaitim ako, nagpaitim ng buhok, nagpa-straight. Trinay ko lahat pero ending. Miss International talaga. Pero so, oo, oh. ah, alam yes. niya. Okay. Bakit ano ba yung peg for Miss International? I guess po yung... I don't know. I really don't know. Hugis ng mukha, yung mahinhin. Pero hindi po ako mahinhin eh. I don't know. Girly girl lang ako. <laughs> oh, okay. So, doon ka na peg. So, mm -hmm. eto na. Binibining Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. What was the best experience in Binibini? Po, oh, dami. But I think it's more yung girls. Until now, best friends ko pa rin yung mga konteserang kasali ko. Kahit hindi sila nanalo. Nanalo sila the next, next year. Best friends ko pa rin po sila. As in, until now, I'm still, I'm living with her nga. I'm really living with one of my um, girls. So, parul siya. I'm living with her. Seven. Being guided by Mrs. Araneta, the first Miss International. Yes, Stella grabe. Marquez. Yes, oh, grabe. Oh. Grabe. You Parang, should pay her a visit. I yeah, would love to. Oh, would oh, love to. Oh, di ba? Yes. Okay, so, Binibini Pilipinas, eto na. Top 20, top 10. So, nung tinawag ka na na... Uh, Binibini Pilipinas International. Binibini! 20! Bea Rose Santiago. Binibini Pilipinas International 2013. Nung Binibini, gumanan ako. <sighs> Kasi tinawag na lahat ng mga akala ko pang universe. Tapos, dalawa na lang ang natitirang corona. Sabi ko, Lord, okay na po sa akin ang Miss International. Salamat na natawag ako. And then sa Miss International po, parang after po ng speech, I just knew na parang sa akin. <laughs> Ang kapal ng mukha! Pero after po ng speech, dun ko po na feel na binigay na sa akin. Eh. Okay. Binigay na sa akin yan. At ayun na, <laughs> Binibining Pilipinas International. Pero hindi pa dun nagtatapos, hindi ba? Pero kapag nanalo ka as Binibining Pilipinas mm -hmm. International Universe, Tourism, whatever, Yan na naman, magsisimula na naman yung journey. Yes. Mas mahirap ba yung journey to Binibini or the journey to international? No, it was so easy for me. Pagdating ko doon, I was overprepared. Umiiyak ako, bakit I don't feel the angst? Kasi nung mga kasal, nung nagbinibini ako, buro kami lahat parang, mm, mm, dragon. Pagdating ko sa Miss International, parang, ang oh, Miss Sweet, ano, world peace. Sweetness, I love you. Ganun. So parang, <laughs> sana ko kukuha ng energy, oh. mang away. Parang oh, wala. Oh. So I had to decompress. Nakakatawa yeah. ka. Ready ka to fight. Ready ka talaga so makitabakbakan doon. For the oh, Philippines oh. kasi yun. So I wanted to win. And okay. hindi ko na feel yung competition kasi mababait po lahat. So I had to befriend everybody. Um, you're there in Japan. Wala kang nararamdamang ans. Wala ka. Feeling mo mananalo ka na talaga. After the speech. After the yeah. what speech? Yung Q and A namin was the speech. The whole world saw how my country, the Philippines, suffered. The agony of my people was felt. But one by one, country to country came to help. I would like to thank all the nations that helped my country in our darkest hours. You have opened my eyes and my heart, and how important it is if we all just support each other. And during that time, I was really, really adamant na pasalamatan yung tumulong sa atin during y Yolanda. Yun po talaga nag-inspire sa akin to write that speech. When I visited Roja City. Yes. Yes, dun po talaga nakita ko. After, one week, five days after Yolanda, we went. And nakita namin yung devastation. Grabe. OA, walang puno, walang nothing. Tumba-tumba. We had to go around mga wires. Nakita namin yung level ng putik na pumasok sa City Hall. Tapos pagdating namin sa third floor, kitang-kita ko yung mga... My United Nations, my UNICEF, my military from US, from Canada, iba ibang uniform, iba ibang group, and they're all there just to help, help. us. And na iya ako kasi, sino ba naman ako na ka make up ako dun para maghai lang sa kanila. Tapos parang nakapalan ako ng muka. So na inspire ako na I should dedicate something for them because sino ba naman ako nagpunta ako dun para mag hello hello, and then sila mismo nagtumutulong. If I become Miss International. I will uphold international camaraderie to sustain the spirit for sympathy and to continually share the message of hope. I believe that whatever calamity may come to us, as long as we have each other, there will be hope. Thank you. So these are about the frontliners of Yolanda yes. when we were hit by that typhoon. Yes, 
Yes. Doon din ako sa Rojas doo, noong mga panahon na yun. Miss International 2013 is Miss Philippines! Anong feeling? Wow, world na, international yes. na. It, it was so weird po because yung roommate ko was the second runner-up. Yung best friend ko sa pageant was the first runner-up. So, what? tatlo kami naghahawakan na parang tayo-tayo rin. Oo oh, oh, nga. Opo. Until now, we're super close pa rin. Galing, Opo. galing, galing, galing. Okay, so, so naging busy ka ba as Miss International? Opo, pumunta din Myanmar. Um, actually, marami po akong very, very um, involved sa... Red Whistle, which is like HIV awareness, and since 2014 until until now, um, at saka meron po kami ng binibuild dati na library. Uh, fortunately, nakakulak po ko ng maraming books to help my small little town in Masbate. So may mga books po ranges from child from ano daycare to even college, university Galing. level. Nakakulak. So what? Yung biglang ano man? Talagang Proud yung nanay at tatay mo, yung mom and dad yes, mo. Yes, I think so po. But more importantly, proud po yung small town ko. Yes. Yun ang pinakayon. Nabigyan nila ako ng street, o oh, diba? Totoo! <laughs> Merong Bea Santiago Street Hindi sa Masbate. Hindi naman kasi buhay pa daw ako. So yung Miss International 2013 yung nilagay. Ah, pero okay, so things are all rosy. Uh, we now have a fifth Miss International. Talagang pang international ang beauty ng Pilipinas, yes. hindi mapipigilan, nag-showbiz pa! <laughs> nag-showbiz pa siya! So, yes. ikaw ay naging artista. Nag-try, yes. I love, I'm, I'm very maarte. So, why not make it into a living? <laughs> make <laughs> money Alright. out Anong of it. Anong ginawa mo? Um, naging kontrabida po ako sa Lalo na Sangre. Ang Supremo ang pinakamalakas sa lahat. At kasama niya tayo na paghaharian ng mga tao. Nag, Naka-experience ko po makatrabaho si Bea Alonzo and Papa Ian and also last po si Bagani before, you know, Liz Ken. Ah. Their last, ano, teleserye, di ba? So everything is rosy, parang lahat nangyayari na sa'yo. Bakit ba naman talaga parang mapagbiro ang tadhana, <laughs> right? Na parang everything was going so well, lahat na sa'yo na biglang may sakit ka pala. Mm -hmm. Paano mo nalaman na may sakit ka? Ano po? I had to be rushed to the ER kasi hindi suka na ako ng suka. Hindi Again? Na, yes, hindi na ako makakain. Nothing, wala na. Akala ko may brain aneurysm nga ako. Sabi ko, ito na yon. Pero pagdating ko po doon, pinastay ako ng two weeks under observation until nagpa-biopsy. Then they saw, shrink na po yung kidneys ko and I have to I have to call na my family na ganitong nangyayari. Pero nag second opinion pa po kami sa Japan. I wanted to see if ano for my own, own self ano assurance. Sila mismo nagsabi you need to fly ASAP before ka pa matumba. And so I had to fly right away with to? a broken heart back to my family in, in Canada. Ayo. Okay, so, na. sa bagong yugto na naman sa buhay na roller coaster ni Bea, biro mo naging Miss International na, naging artista na, lahat maganda na ang nangyayari sa buhay, from Masbate to the world, biglang kidney failure. Yes. At sabi mo nga, ang sintomas, mm -hmm. nagsusuka ka, wala kang gana kumain siguro. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. Ano pa ang mga sintomas noon? Usually po, iba may namamaga yung mukha, namamaga kamay, paa, um, may mga red dots. Ayan. Nag-iiba yung kulay ng katawan, um, mabagal ka na, hindi mo na masyado maiisip, or um, ano po, uh, wala ka nang ganang kumain. At saka pag hindi mo ginamot, ikamamatay mo. Yes, pwede po. Usually, at the end na nalalaman. Yung nangyari po sa akin, at the end na. And kidney failure na po. Kidney failure na talaga. Yes. So, eto na ngayon ang choose or consequence. Oh By the way, ang consequence, pag hindi mo sinagot ang tanong, kakainin mo lahat ang pulburo na ito at pagkatapos pipito ka. Ang tanong lang naman, iiwan mo ba ang Pilipinas with all of your career at magpapagamot sa Canada? Ayun. Ginawa ko na po yan eh. Iniwan ko po lahat. O, sinagot mo na nga. O, yun na nga. O, ako na lang kakain ito ha. Okay, o tapos. And, so you had to go to Canada. Yes. And then? Because I had my family members and they are my direct donors. And fortunately, 
match kami kasi 100% both pa parents namin same. So Pero hindi God. sa lahat ng pagkakataon match ang donor oh, oh, kahit ng kidney. Yes. yes. Oh, so oh. lahat po yan my mom tried unfortunately may sira po yung left niya so hindi naging successful yung matching namin. Then my sister gusto niya pong magpakasal, mag-anak kaagad. So hindi po siya natuloy and then my brother took the responsibility na ayaw ko naman talaga. But he he was such a good Totoo. good good bata, brother. Bata mas bata sa iyo. Oh, 7 years younger. He was then 23, 24. Wow. Yes. What a decision to make. Pero nagdadialysis ka na nito. Opo. Yes. Kaano ka tagal ka na nagdadialysis noon? Mga 2, 3 years na. Wow. Yes. Sunday. So, yung dialysis mo ay talagang three times a week, gano'n? Five times a week, eight hours. What? Yes, oh. Gano'n na katindi yun? Gano'n katindi po yun. Namatay yeah. na talaga yung kidney mo? Yes, I was, it was functioning less than 15%. And nag-shrink na po kidneys ko. Yung normal kidneys, 13 to 14 to 15. Mine was 5.5. Wow. Both. Wow. Talagang nag-shrink. So, so, magtatanong ang taong nanonood sa atin mm. ngayon. Ano ba yun? Namamana ba yan? Nakakahawa ba yan? Pinapakanak ka na bang ganun? Sometimes po. Sometimes po hereditary. Sometimes sa tubig. And then sometimes lifestyle. Oh. And I was just unlucky na since I was young girl, palagi ako nagkaka-UTI. So, mahina na po talaga may kidney. Oh. Since maliit pa lang ako. Okay. So talaga, kasama na siguro yung autoimmune yes. problem mo. Doon po nag-root siguro. Doon siguro nag-started, mm. di ba? Marami nang nangyari din yes. sa yung mga dengue, yes. mga 